Hello, Gemini. This will be your June 2023 reading or whenever it finds you. I hope everyone is doing well. This is going to be a thorough and length lengthy reading. We're going to cover all aspects of your spectrum, your love, your emotional well-being, your finances, your overall outcome for the month, what things you need to look out for, and what you can do to provide the best outcome possible for you. We're also going to be looking at your uh, soul growth and spiritual awakening at the end of this reading. Now, in the elemental cards which help me to see your emotions. I see that you have reason to dance and celebrate for the month of June. You also have love and compassion and this childlike wonder, this childlike play of innocence. For some of you, it could be that there will be children involved in your June that you will be celebrating with and having fun with, but I think for the majority of you, this is you truly having a great time in the month of June, so you're already off to a really fun, great start. This is for June and I, for June. Gemini spirit, angels, guides, help us to see clearly for Gemini. So this is past energy I see here, where you are overcoming some type of loss, some type of grief. But you're also finding the humor in this loss. This is not like loss as in uh, someone passed away, I don't feel like. This is something that you felt like passed you by. Um... Where you were dealing with adversity, you know, challenges in your life. And maybe you were feeling guilty for releasing it. And for the progress of learning that this no longer serves your soul growth. But you're now coming to this place of peace being of love and releasing all of this negative energy and not letting it negatively affect you any further. And I bet that has something to do with all of this celebration here. And as we get into this, we will find out. The plot thickens, Gemini. The plot thickens. All right, let's see what's going on with you. I'm going to nose into your business <laughs> and then help guide you and advise you of what to see and expect to navigate through this month in the most blessed way possible. Okay, we're going to take that one. And those. All right. I love it when the cards jump. That is spirit. Hand-picking the cards for you. Bottom of the deck is magnetism. So you're drawing something in, aren't you? Drawing in your happiness. Yeah, you got north and south here both. Which tells me <laughs> that you, you've recalibrated. And after this um, volatile... 
upset, this loss, whatever this was that you walked away from, you're really feeling the power of your bravery now and the endurance, your strength. You're, you're really seeing how much strength you have now and appreciating it. No wonder you've got so much to celebrate because that's huge. That's a huge milestone for anyone to accomplish. And now you're sitting kind of in this, almost like the hangman type energy, this silence of knowing, of reflecting and seeing how well you actually went through all of this and like literally went through this metamorphosis within yourself that you didn't even realize you were doing in just trucking on and not trying to look back at it any further just totally letting it go so I, I'm seeing that you are seeing the true you the true power that you hold your ability to love yourself finally and have your balance have your north and south balanced and calibrated and that's huge for Gemini that's really huge so great progress Glad to see this for you. Rest and rejuvenate on the bottom of the deck here. That's what you've been doing. So now in the month of June, what can we see for June, Spirit? What will we see for June? Moving forward, what can Gemini expect for June, please? What great things are happening? Definitely harmony. Maybe even harmony and union with another person. But this is your card here, too. That I'm going to show it to you in just a moment. I feel like there's another card that wants to come out of this deck. Okay. Yeah, you've been suffering in silence. And that suffering is now over. Or, okay, hold on. Maybe someone else is suffering in silence because they want to be in union with you. Because you've got discontent and boredom, and I feel like that's someone else's energy, not yours. And strength that comes from the solar plex card, which is, you know, Leo's card. So maybe it's a Leo you're dealing with. And then this is your card. This is the very first one that came out. And six is the number on the card. And six is all about family and um, unity and working together and, and community and um, all things that are involving yourself with others and then you know this could be a union very well that you're coming into in the month of june um particularly since you have this destiny card which means that you are coming together with like-minded individuals so you're going to find maybe even like your soulmate if you will that was wild like, literally three-fourths of a deck of tarot just leaped off of my table. <laughs> okay, that was spirit saying clearly, uh, pay attention here to what I just said. <laughs> You're finding your soulmate. <laughs> Definitely finding your soulmate in the month of June. And this is why you have so much love and compassion and celebration and wanting to dance and feeling this innocence of a child. Because this is like that love that makes you giddy and stupid. <laughs> and that was a clear sign from spirit that, yeah, this was, this was the right message to be telling you right now. Oh, I love it when that happens. All right, so let's get into some regular tarot and find out more about this love interest that you're going to, that not just a love interest, the soulmate that's coming for your ass. <laughs> let's see what's happening here. We need some details, spirit. Give us some details. Tell us how this is going to happen. Where do they meet? Who is it? Is it a friend? Is it somebody they already know? Let's get some details. Details about this soul connection. This beautiful soulmate connection.
There it is. Dancing for me now. That one leaped out and did a little twirl. Just like your card over here. It says you're going to be dancing and celebrating. Alright, we're going to stop right there for a minute. So we got the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Alright. Well, this is definitely someone who works very hard and isn't having much fun. But they're clearly going to be having a lot of fun with you. They are spiritually in alignment with you. They're like-minded. Um, sort of like you could say you're from the same community, if you will, right? So if you're a spiritual person, maybe they're in a spiritual community that you're involved in. Um, maybe they're working in your community where you live. That could be a possibility. But they're definitely someone, being the king of swords, um, they're definitely someone who is stoic and respected in the community. Um, that gives advice to people. Very intelligent. Um, very impartial type of person. They're, they have this ability to like remain objective and fair-minded, you know. So, could be a Libra, right? Because they're very fair and um, objective for people. Could be someone that you know that's a public speaker in your area. Um, but regardless of what their profession is, they are someone who is able to communicate very clearly. Um, and they're also someone who comes off as emotionally unavailable and so again i'm going to lean kind of toward libra but also maybe a leo because both tend to sort of come off that way to people um they don't they don't open up and show their emotions and their feelings right away but then when they do i mean hold on to your hat because you're going to get it lock stock and barrel you know um but i definitely feel like this is either a leo or a libra for you and i don't typically name other signs that way i'm just being called to do that for you in this moment and yeah they're going to come in very fast they're going to communicate with you very quickly and make you an offer of love um, again, they're not going to, you're maybe not going to think that they're really serious about it because they don't show their emotions real well, but, um, there's, it looks like there's something romantic going to happen here with this. And that's male or female too, by the way. I mean, don't let this, um, make you feel like, you know, it's not going to happen for you just because you're a, a male Gemini that's listening to this reading because that could certainly be a female who's just balanced in her male aspects, you know, her masculine aspects of the tarot, which would be reflected in, you know, the king of swords and the uh, knight of swords energy, um, and even the solar plex energy, which is, you know, Leo's card. That's a that's an aspect of masculinity, your solar plex. Um, and we all have to find those balances within us, you know. What else can you tell Gemini Spirit? What else can we share with Gemini for the month of June, please? Anything else? Anything else? Okay, I'm going to take that one. That passion. Returning to your roots, Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck, which is the same. This is your card again. This is the Six of Harmony. This is the Six of Cups. Same card. This is you coming into balance, finding your equal partner. I'm so freaking excited for you. I want to know who this is. I want to hear all about it in the comments, guys. Inquiring minds want to know. 
<laughs> all right, so you've got the magician, which is clearly, I mean, all through this spread, it's been showing me that you are the one that has manifested this. Whether you realize it or not, you have absolutely manifested this for yourself. Um, you've made up your mind. You're walking away from, you're doing the hashtag walk away. I just heard in my head, <laughs> hashtag walk away. Uh, from all the drama and all the bullshit and people that didn't treat you right and you're like I'm just gonna love myself do my thing and you know somebody comes along that sees you in this progress sees you in this glow up they're very discontent in their life they're ready for new love too um, they've already walked away from all this turmoil I feel like long ago I feel like they haven't been in a relationship for a really long time this other person they've been doing the solo gig for a while and they see you in this glow up and they're just stoked about you they they have passion for you for sure from what i'm seeing here in this so let's see what else we've got we've got the two of swords which means that you do have a choice to make in this you know and you always do everything is a choice and um so for some of you, I'm even hearing that you already have met this person, that this is something that's already happened recently, and you're just kind of in a stalemate over how you feel about them, and perhaps that's because they're not really showing a whole lot of emotions, but they are offering you something stable, long-term, and genuine. And so it's hard for you to know you know, should I take this or should I not take this? Because you're just not real clear yet on how they truly feel about you. Which would be why you're watching a tarot reading, right? To get the clarity on that. So yeah, you're you're in that two of swords, not sure what decision to make energy. But you're also walking as the magician right now. Again, whether you realize it or not. You are manifesting this. You are creating this. And then the third card that came out was the judgment card. And again, that's Libra energy. So, and this is someone who's, you know, very good at self-evaluation. They're awake. Um, they have composure. They judge people to some extent or another. I feel like for some of you, maybe this is a, actually a judge in your community. And that kept popping in my head earlier. That maybe there's some judge that has his eye on you in a good way. Or her eye on you in a good way. <laughs> um, but definitely someone who... Um, their thoughts dominate their feelings most of the time. You know, again, more of that swords energy with the queen of swords. And perhaps that's even you at this time. Maybe you are the one who's overriding your feelings with your thought process to not allow this past kind of energy to ever happen again. Um, but you are feeling like there's something missing from your life, that special person that you would like to have as a companion and someone to go and do all those things with you. That you do because you're a Gemini. So you're a busy mofo. You're out there hustling, moving, running, doing, jumping, loving life. Busy, right? In all good ways. I'm, I don't mean any disrespect at all in saying that. You all are movers and shakers. You know, you want to be going. You want to be doing. You want to be active. And that's a good thing. But you're feeling like you're, um, you're missing something there this is the four of cups in traditional tarot and this is you saying you know yeah i have these three cups and they're great sure wish i had that fourth cup sure wish i had something in that fourth cup you know and maybe even at times you're looking back at your past relationships and you're thinking too bad that couldn't have worked out but there's a reason that it didn't work out because you have a destiny you're, you're destined to be with this soulmate person that's coming in for you in the month of June. And that's why those past relationships didn't work out. So, um, you know, you can reflect and look back on those other 
relationships from time to time and chalk them off as a great lesson in how to love yourself and learn to have clear boundaries and teach by example how you will accept um, treatment from others. What treatment you accept and what treatment you do not accept. And um, be proud of yourself for that. Continue to be really proud of your accomplishments because what you've done in recent months and years for some of you this has been years of work in progress um this is something that's very hard for anyone to champion and um successfully get to a point where you can just let go easily let it go and I'm seeing a woodpecker sitting here looking at me right now. And I want you to look up the spiritual meaning of the woodpecker. Particularly the Native American meaning of the woodpecker. Because I think that is significant to you in your reading. And actually, if I remember to do so, I'll put something in the uh, description link below. Bella, will you make me a little note? Thank you. I think we're going to title this one. <laughs> your ships are coming in. <laughs> Meeting your soulmate. Something like that. Because um, you've definitely earned this and created it. Whether you realize it or not. Alright, Spirit. Um, give me more information for Gemini for the month of June. What type of Characteristics does Jim and I need to channel through the month of June to be successful? This is from the Animal Spirit Totems. Okay. I knew the snake was going to come out. I knew the snake was going to come out because... These cards are snakeskin, <laughs> but I never even, I never even think about that when I'm using these cards, but that was heavily on my mind the entire time I've been shuffling just now. I knew the snake was going to come out and the snake, the snake is not just about shedding your old skin and, and renewal. You know, it's that Phoenix rising. It's the Ouroboros. It's the knowing thyself truly. And walking in that with confidence and grace and skill. And I feel like that's exactly where you're at in life right now. Yeah, oh my gosh, I love this. Because you have the wolf and you have the frog. And um, again, look up the meaning of the frog in uh, spiritual meanings, particularly in the Native American meanings. Because this frog is very significant in your um, growth for the month of June. And the wolf, the wolf walks alone a lot. You know, people refer to the lone wolf. And yes, that's who you've been, Gemini. You've been that lone wolf. But now it's time for you to find your pack, your tribe, the people you're destined to be with because they are like-minded. And, um, I think something really big is coming from this, not, not just your soulmate and love. And I, I don't say that to simplify it. I just say it because this feels much bigger to me. Like you're going to possibly work together in some fashion to create a community of like-minded people. This is very intriguing. Very intriguing indeed. Alright, so I'm going to ask for a little bit of clarity to further elaborate on your spirit animal totems so that you know what animals 
characteristics you need to channel and carry with you in the month of June. So we'll start with the snake. Clarity for the snake, please. Clarity for the snake. Look, literally, your ship's coming in. Three of Wands. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay, so this is the Five of Pentacles. And yeah, perfect clarification card for the snake. Because the Five of Pentacles is feeling alone, feeling left out in the cold, feeling rejected, feeling you know, unaccepted. Okay. But then in transformation of that, this is a church with a stained glass window. So this signifies spiritual community, right? The church is about spiritual community, or at least it's supposed to be. Um, that's what it represents, you know, and so this is you coming full circle, like the Ouroboros, coming full circle and finding your community, your spiritually like-minded people, which begins with this one. But your destiny is much bigger than just this one. This one... Is going to help you to manifest and create this destiny community. And this is what you're going to be extremely excited about in the month of June. Because you're going to already be making big plans together. Alright, I need clarity for the frog, please. My friend, the frog. I love frogs so much. I used to carry them around in my pocket when I was ch a child. I just love them. They're great friends. So you have the sun, the knight of pinnacles, the eight of pinnacles, and the judgment card. So again, you've got Leo and Libra. <laughs> I mean, you can't make this up, guys. You're literally... May, and maybe... Oh, my God. It just hit me. The Crossroads card that you got. Maybe that's the choice. Is that you have two energies coming in. One is a Leo and one is a Libra. Maybe you've got choices. Maybe you have options here. And that's not a bad thing. Both of them look very good. If there's two energies, they both look equally on par to be part of this destiny for you. So you're not going to go wrong either way. Um, and I know that's not what you want to hear. You want to, you want me to tell you which one are you supposed to pick, <laughs> but either choice you make is going to be the right choice for you. And you already know the answers. I just heard that you already know the answer, but the frog, the clarity on the frog for the meanings of the cards is the sun is your strength, right? You have strength with the frog. You have um, success with the frog. This is the Knight of, of Pentacles, which is about bringing you success. The Eight of Pentacles is about working toward success, right? Um, doing something that you love. And Judgment, the Judgment card is about being fair and balanced. And again, there's more than one person on this card. There's, there's three people on this card. Actually, there's four or five, six. There's six people on this card other than the angel. And judgment, um, being fair and balanced, that's bringing this unity, this, this collective uh, consciousness together in perfect unity and balance. And look, on the bottom of the deck, we have the lovers again. There's your card again. So, we've had Leo, Libra, and Gemini three times show up in your reading now. Three, three, three. Also might be significant to you. Now, for the wolf. Clarity for the wolf, please. 
clarity for the wolf. Okay, so this is, again, about balance and equal give and take, the Six of Pentacles. So, yeah, this is you finding your pack, finding your person, and um, the Page of Cups is someone offering, and that was in reverse, Three of Swords, offering love after great heartache, and this is the Six of Swords, which is about moving on to... Um, greener grass or calmer shores or however you want to look at that you know um the the six of swords says that we're moving towards our happiness so yes you've already been in this place of contentment and happiness on on some level um but you're moving now into not being the lone wolf but being with your pack the people you belong with, the people you're supposed to run with, and you being a Gemini, you like to be on the go and be on the run, and uh, these people, this person, and then this community, this collective, are all going to be on par with that. They're going to be able to keep up with your ass, basically, because <laughs> you're high energy, aren't you? High energy, a lot like Cancerians, where most Cancerians are pretty high energy. All right, now let's look at your um, star seed cards, star child cards for your soul growth for the month of June. What can you expect for the month of June? And then after I do this, I think I am going to just ask Spirit um, if we are looking at two different people. Leo and Libra, which one should you move toward or something like that? I'll think about how to word that. I don't want to like send you in a specific direction and then, and then you're all like, I should have took the other person, but, and I don't even normally, like I said, I don't even normally focus on other Zodiac signs. That show up in the cards so much. I typically read from the energy of the card itself. Not that energy as if it's another person. So um, that in and, in and of itself is significant to me. Because I don't typically read that way. And I was called to do so. Okay, so I'm going to pull from the deck now. For your soul growth. Feeling it in here. Oh, interesting. Okay, top card. I'm told to take top card and look at the bottom. Restore. Beautiful. Okay. I love the energy of that card that says restore. This is time out for you. This is enjoying nature. This is paying attention to the synchronicities and the shaman ways that are being shown to you and um, teaching you and opening you up to this new person that you're becoming and this multi-dimensional awareness that you now have. Um, because you're learning that you are a magician, you are a creator, and that you very well can create the life and journey that you choose to be on. Um, you know now that you can change timelines. Um, you don't even try to fit in with people. You are just this whole new person, and you literally have this card that I've never even seen in this deck before. It says the new man, um... Enlightened masculine potential and new earth are the key words on the bottom of it and the number nine. And I swear to you, I've never seen this card come out of this deck. And I've used this deck for three or four years. And um, it's the only starseed oracle deck that I, I care to use other than my tiny cards. And I've never seen this card. So again, this goes back to the Ouroboros, the Phoenix. You've 
recreated yourself. You've went through this beautiful transformation. But also you have this new person in your life. Not just yourself as a new person. But you're, you're being gifted. You're equal. This new person. Which for a lot of you could be a new man. And for others of you it's a new woman. Um, but you're being gifted this collective creative potential between these two people, this beautiful union between two people who are on the same page. And this is the storm, the cleansing of the storm, which I feel like you've already went through, but maybe you're going to experience a little bit more of that in the month of June, simply because of this new relationship that's happening um, it's going to give you a whole new perspective on this storm that you've just weathered and went through. And you look at all the beautiful colors that are in this. I mean, you're truly seeing the rainbow after the storm right now in the month of June. That's what I'm picking up the most out of the energy of this card for you is that you are seeing the rainbow. You're seeing the gift. You're seeing the restoration and, and the gifts that are paying off from all of your hard work and all of the things that you've put into you. And now the universe and God are blessing you with this beauty. And this final card is called Share Space. And if you can tell, if you can see, there are two people in this big light energy of this lotus. There are two people that are sharing this space. So again, this clearly says that because of your spiritual growth, you're being blessed and gifted with this equal partner. I think the part that you're going to reflect on now and look back and realize is that you gave yourself this gift. You created this. You are the creator. You are the one that tells the universe how to treat you. Because you've learned to tell people how to treat you. And that is the key. That's the key to the universe. That's the key to the three, six, and nine. It's understanding that you are that person that can make this happen. And you deserve it. You've earned it in ways that most people don't. So, Jim and I, I just want to say I am immensely excited for you, immensely proud of you. And have immense respect for you. For the growth and the work that you've put into that growth. And all of the beautiful gifts that you have manifested. That God and the universe have been in alignment with. Because you've learned to be in alignment with loving yourself. I have immense respect for you for that. And immense gratitude. Because what so many don't realize is that when we choose to do this for ourselves, and then we in turn get this beautiful union that wants us to dance and be passionate again and joyful like a child, that energy expands so big that it's a beautiful ripple effect. On the rest of the souls and the rest of the energy on this planet and beyond. You become a good domino effect. A good butterfly effect. By just simply learning to love yourself. And have those clear boundaries. And create that joy for yourself. Being in service to the self for those things essentially is being in service to others. 
it's a win-win. So Gemini, you have a great, beautiful, joyful month ahead of you for June. And I really hope that you will entertain me <laughs> with letting me know some of your details about how great things are in your life and share your blessings. And until we meet again, be well and be blessed in love and light. Take care.